Hey guys, how's it going? Well, I recently have been in a friendly discussion with another YouTuber uh, concerning a topic that has been raging off and on down through automotive history. And that is whether a Chevrolet 350 is the same as a Buick 350 or an Oldsmobile 350 or a Pontiac 350. And there's been people that say they're all different. There's been people that say they're all the same. And the person that I'm in this friendly discussion with claims that aside from boring and stroke and carburation, they're all the same. So let's take a look here. I've brought up on the internet four pictures, which are four different engines. And let's just take a look at this and see if we can put this argument to bed finally. I know there are some of you that strongly believe that there are four engines there. No matter what the name, they're all the same engine. Everything interchanges. But I'm sorry to say to you that that's not the case. Each division had their own 350. They're all different. They won't interchange. So let's take a look. Here is our world famous Chevrolet small block 350. Now you'll notice, let's take a look at this block here. First thing you notice along the heads here, it's uh, flat. There's no shelf here on the side of the cylinder heads. You have a stamp steel valve cover with four bolts on and on. You have water pump which mounts here and here directly to the front of the block. There's no shelf here. There is a stamp steel timing cover. Okay. You see that? That's a Chevrolet 350. So he's right there behind it. All right, the next one we're going to look at is a Buick 350. Now, let's look at this one. First thing we notice from the top down, look, we have a stamp steel valve cover which has six bolts on it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bolts on each valve cover. Take a look at this head right here. Here's the exhaust ports. Look how far out these runners are cast into the cylinder head. Looks a little different from the Chevrolet, doesn't it? Also notice that the gasket for the intake goes straight across. There's no jog in it. And then quite visibly, right here, here is the aluminum timing cover and oil pump housing. There's where the oil pump mounts, right there on the front of the engine. Water pump mounts out here. Now look at that. You see there's a huge distributor poking out of this cover on this Buick. Chevrolet does not have a distributor up here at the front. This is the front of the engine. See the harmonic balancer? Chevrolet distributor is back here. Okay, now I don't know how different this could be from the picture we just looked at. Here's the Chevrolet. Here's the Buick. To me, that's a very different engine. Okay, let's proceed on and look at an Oldsmobile 350. Okay, here's the Oldsmobile 350. Usually these have five, or I think they might have eight bolts that hold the valve cover on. They have a triangular, kind of uh, a strangely shaped valve cover. This part here is wider it tapers in at the top on each end. You also have this shelf coming out again. It looks similar to the Buick, but you'll notice that the angle of the exhaust ports relative to the valve cover rail is not as severe. Up here at the front, you have a cast-in timing cover housing. These engines use a flat metal sheet metal plate which bolts to the front of this to seal it, has a gasket under it. Then the water pump mounts to the front of that. Your ID block casting number is right up here at the top. You see these digits that are cast into the block. That's how you tell what it is. It has a straight rail here for the most part. It's curved a little bit on the ends. Uh, it also right here where my finger is, this is where the block stamping is. It has a number which is stamped into it which will start with a digit. That's your year code. It'll be something like 3F something something something. That's how you tell what year exactly it is. Uh, of 
course you see there's no distributor here distributor on these mounts in the back like a Chevrolet you notice also it has bridged rockers these are your aluminum rocker bridges right here they go from one rocker to the other to stabilize them to guide them Chevrolet doesn't use that no Chevrolet uses that arrangement <clears throat> That's why if you ever run across an Oldsmobile that hasn't been maintained very well, it'll have a distinct tick, 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 tick because these things are aluminum and they wear out. The fulcrums wear out. And then let's go lastly to our Pontiac. Here's a Pontiac 350. Let's see if we can bring this in. Take a look at this. First thing you notice, we have four bolt valve cover, stamped steel valve cover, whatever type of valve cover you want to run. Take a look at these heads there. There again, if you notice that every head besides the Chevrolet small block has a, a very pronounced runner cast into the exhaust side of the head. <clears throat> now look at the severe angle that these head, these exhaust ports are on. See where my hand is? See how severe that is um, relative to the valve cover angle? They're almost almost pointing straight down. Not quite, but almost. Notice here, front of the engine, you notice they have another aluminum timing cover. Water pump bolts here, look that's a totally different shape and it has a, you see this? That is a water passage that goes back to the intake. <clears throat> None of the other engines have that. And there's a water outlet here. So let's cycle back through these real quick. Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Buick, Chevy. Let's take a look where the fuel pump is on these. Chevrolet fuel pump mounts to the side of the block on the right front. Buick, you can't see it, but the fuel pump mounts into the aluminum front cover on the other side, on the driver's side, totally opposite side from the Chevy. Oldsmobile, here's the here's the uh, the actuator for it. It bolts right over here to the side of the block, higher up than the Chevy. Pontiac, it's back over here on the driver's side, bolts into the front cover. Now notice, you don't see an oil filter on the front of the Pontiac. You don't see an oil filter on the front of the Oldsmobile, they're in the back, both of them. On the right. You don't, you do see one, there it is, there's where the oil filter goes on a Buick. Chevrolet. Now, it's in the back, not on the front. Now, guys, will this please put this rumor to bed that there's not only one 350? It's plainly obvious here in this video. I've showed everybody that watches this now that there are four distinct engines. There's a Chevrolet. There's a Buick. There's an Oldsmobile. And there's a Pontiac. And I challenge anyone who claims that this is still can't be correct, I challenge you to take a Pontiac Oldsmobile Buick Chevrolet cylinder head and try to bolt it onto another version engine and see if you can do it. And if you can do it, please be the first to put a video up of how you did it. And also, one other thing. There's a very specific reason if you look up intake manifolds for a Chevrolet 350 and a Buick 350 and an Oldsmobile 350 and a Pontiac 350, why that there are different part numbers, guys. So please, do not spread this rumor again it's mythology it's nothing based in fact that there's somebody that somebody told them back in the past that they're all the same and you could you can't even bolt a Chevrolet engine up to a transmission that came out of a, a Pontiac Olds or Buick because Chevrolet has its own bell housing pattern large and small block big block small block has its own bell housing pattern and then these three other engines this one Buick Oldsmobile Pontiac, they use a Buick Olds 
Pontiac Cadillac, actually, bell housing pattern. They don't interchange. There's some transmissions out there that have universal case, but they're not that common. So, if you guys have any questions on these engines, the differences in them that I did not cover in this video, please feel free to ask, but please don't make a fool of yourself trying to tell people that the only differences in these four engines are the pistons and the carburation and something else crazy because it, that is crazy it's not the case so i hope i've helped all of you understand this have a good one guys we'll see you later